two of your masterpiece makeover. Now we need to resize your face to fit on top of your face in the painting. First thing we need to do is name your layer. So we're going to call this layer my picture. Okay. Once you've renamed it, uh, go ahead and hit the enter key. So to rename it, just double click, type your name, and then hit the enter key. Um, now to transform this, you want to do a control T on that layer. And you want to drag from one of the corners, not from one of the centers. Okay, you want to drag from one of these corner anchors while holding down the shift key because what that does is it preserves your proportions. If you don't hold the shift key, you're going to distort the size of your face. And what I'm also going to do is change the angle of my face a little bit so it's a little uh, more straight up and down. Once you get that the way you need it to, go ahead and hit the enter key twice and that's going to put your face in the right location on your painting. Now, we need to change your layer opacity. So the opacity is how much you can see through the layer. Right now, I can't see the Mona Lisa through my face part, uh, my face layer at all. But we're gonna change your opacity for that layer down to 50% so I can see my, opac or my uh, painting through it a little bit more. Then just zoom in. You want to make sure that your eyes are aligned with your painting's eyes a little bit. So I was having a little hard a hard time looking at it through 50%. So I'm going to change that to 70% so I can align my eyes. So there are my eyes right here. And what I'm going to do is just use my arrow keys to align my eyes with Mona's eyes. And you may need to do another transformation just to make your face a little smaller to really fit on there. And use your arrow keys to align the eyes. Now what that's going to do is allow your face to look like it's proportionate on the painting. Once you've got that done, go ahead and hit the enter key. <clears throat> Once you've done that uh, and you've hit the enter key, go ahead and save this file. After this, we're going to move on to tutorial number three where we're going to learn how to do some layer masks um, so we can get rid of some of this extra part of my cheek and some of the chin or anything that's overlapping going over the dimensions of the painting space itself.